first law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only change its form. So when we're looking at atom economy, we want to see where all of the atoms that we're putting into a reaction from our reactants, where they go into in terms of our products. Here we've been given a balanced equation showing methanol plus propanoic acid, which will produce methyl propanoate and water. And we're asked to calculate the atom economy. So to do this, we're going to take each of the entities and write down their formula. We're then going to do the mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation and the ratio is a 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio. We then, if we're given a fo formula, can calculate the GFM of each entity. Methanol has a GFM of 32, propanoic acid is 74, methyl propanoate is 88, and water is 18. What we can now calculate is the mass. Mass is equal to number of moles times GFM. So we'll have 1 times 32, which gives us 32. 1 times 74, which gives us 74. 1 times 88, which gives us 88. And 1 times 18, which gives us 18. Our little double check is, what goes in must come out. So on our reactants, if we add up 32 plus 74, it gives us a total mass of 106. And if we add up our products, 88 plus 18 gives us a total of 106. It means that it's balanced. What went in has came out. So to calculate the atom economy, we have to write out the formula, which is the mass of our product over the total reactants times by 100. So for methyl propanoate, that would be 88 over a total of 106 multiplied by 100 would give us an atom economy of 83%. If we were to do the same for the water, we would have the mass of water, which was 18, divided by the total reactants, which was 106, multiplied by 100, and that would give us an atom economy of 17. To double check your answer, 83 plus 17 gives us a total of 100%, meaning that all our atoms have been accounted for. Here is a second example where the mole ratio is a little bit different. So the first step is to write down all of our entities from the balanced equation. And then we want to do our mole ratio, which is a 4 to 5 to 4 to 6 ratio. We then need to calculate the GFM. NH3 has a GFM of 17 grams. O2 comes out at 32 grams. NO, 30 grams and H2O is 18 grams. Now, because we've got a GFM and our number of moles, we can calculate the mass because mass is equal to N times GFM. Four times 17 comes out at 68. Five times 32, 160. Four times 30 is 120. And six times 18 comes out at 108. Remember, what goes in must come out. So we add up our total mass of our reactants. 68 plus 160 comes in at 228. And the total mass of our products, we would have 120 plus 108, which comes out at 228. We then want to work out the atom economy. So we write out our formula, mass of product over total reactants times 100. If we're working this out for our nitrogen monoxide, which is NO, we have a mass of 120 over the total reactants, which we worked out as 228, multiplied by 100, which gives us an atom economy of 52.6. To double check, we'll do the same with the water. We've got 108 divided by 228, multiplied by 100, which gives us an atom economy of 47.4. Again, we can double check by adding those up. 52.6 plus 47.4 gives us a total of 100%. This past paper question is from the higher 2018 written 2C part 2. An equation for the formation of silicon nitride is shown. Calculate the atom economy for the formation of silicon nitride. The first thing that we have to do is take down the entities. So we write down the formula for each of the things given in the balanced equation. We then do our mole ratio, 
which is a 3 to 16 to 1 to 12 ratio. We then calculate the GFM for each, 170.1, 17, 140.3 and 53.5. To calculate the mass, we do the number of moles times the GFM. 3 times 170.1 gives 510.3. 16 times 17 gives 272. 1 times 140.3 is 140.3. And 12 times 53.5 comes in at 642. Our double check, what goes in must come out. We add up our total reactants. So we've got 510.3 grams plus 272 grams comes in at 782.3. And if we add up the total mass of our products, that also comes out at 782.3. We want to calculate the atom economy for the silicon nitride, which has the formula Si3N4. We write out our formula, mass of product over total reactants times 100. The mass is 140.3 divided by 782.3 times by 100, and we get an atom economy of 17.9%.